Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Good morning, guys. It is Mel and I am here in the shed this morning. And I've just come in and the whole shed is just an absolute mess. I know I left it a mess the other day before I left, but I was in a hurry and I'd run out of garbage bag liners. I'd run out of my like mini shrink wrap. There's just a whole heap of things that I feel like I've run out in the shed. <laughs> I was coming in here to photograph, but honestly, this mess is just driving me batty. And because I'm out of supplies, I think I'm gonna go get some today and I'm gonna take you for the ride. Let's go. walk through the whole Ikea store just to get some Ikea bags <laughs> but I got a lolly jar as long as you're here with me so I've noticed at Ikea they have these stripy bags so they're just a little bit more square can you see this so they both say they hold 71 litres and these are the ones I normally use but these ones look like they might be better suited for books because these have kind of got the triangle shape to them. I think I'm going to get the pretty stripy ones. They look pretty. So I was on my way to the office shop but there is a charity shop that is literally one minute away from this office shop and well it would be rude not to stop in don't you think? <laughs> I got my new IKEA bag. It's waterproof in this terrible rain. I'm gonna race in there and quickly see if I can get a handful of books. This is one of our biggest charity stores in Canberra. In here is all the clothes and downstairs in the basement is where I go for the books. in this shop but three and four dollars too much for me but I see this backgammon set and I'm going to ask how much it is because it looks like they're copying for about 60 plus post. Okay so he charged me $10 for both the backgammon and the bible so I think that's pretty good. Now obviously I normally pick up books and I don't pick up random items very often but occasionally I do and I do have a few pieces in the shed that I want to start adding into my store. So I recognized that backgammon um, game because my dad had the same set when I was a kid. So I knew it was a vintage set. All the pieces were inside. I checked the instructions to make sure all the pieces were there. And they look to be comping for about $60 plus post for those vintage backgammon games. Now I'm getting really wet <laughs> and I'm gonna get these into the car. Lucky for my new Ikea bags, <laughs> keeping everything dry.
Okay, it's past lunchtime. I'm absolutely starving. I need to stop and go to the toilet. <laughs> so I'm just stopping at my local takeaway, which makes the most beautiful toasted sandwiches. And I'm gonna go grab one quickly. Seriously, so good, best sandwiches ever. Turkey, cranberry sauce, cheese, lettuce on a Turkish bread roll. So good. I'm going to do is put a new bin liner in because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> that one was so full that bin. Anyway, I'm going to put a new bin liner in and give this room a sweep. First thing. So I've actually got a whole heap of books that are sitting in the death pile and the only reason they're sitting there is because the stickers are painful ones to remove. So I thought I'd try some of this sticky removal. I needed a cloth as well to have with it. I bought this bulk lot because we're moving house and I figured I can use some extra cloths while I'm moving. And I hate the color orange. <laughs> so I'm gonna use yellow for my shed. So I've got more of the mini shrink wrap. So I've got four here. I've got two empties. I normally keep two on the go. And literally, you just put them on here. Now I've got some cling wrap so I can get all these bundles of books away. Okay, now I've got a couple more rolls of fragile tape just so I've got a couple down here as spare. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'm using the post-it notes for my inventory skew. And they're kind of hard to reuse because they lose their stick. And I've tried a couple of different brands. I've tried the cheaper brands, but they don't even hardly stick at all. <laughs> so I have to buy these post-it brand ones. So the only place I can really get them in bulk is at the office stationery shop. So I just stocked up and got another bulk lot of those today. Okay, now I really wanted three of these little plastic envelope things. And the reason being is, I am finding that I am bringing in stock to the shed and I have got a lot of receipts. And I've got receipts that seem to be in the car, receipts that seem to be in the shed, and then I've got receipts that are at home. And I'm just worried that when I'm gonna be doing my tax, that I'm gonna have these receipts everywhere. So I wanted to make sure I have three of these little pink envelopes, one for inside the shed, one for inside my car, and one for inside my house. Anyway, I got my dustpan. I keep sweeping this floor. I do try and keep the aisle as clean as possible because I'm peeling little stickers off all the time and they fall on the floor. But I've always got this broom and I sweep it into a pile, but I don't have a dustpan to put in the bin. So I've got my trusty dustpan. Now I'm gonna keep this underneath. Got some more wipes, guys. I use these to clean the core flute. You saw me, I bought another couple of pieces of core flute. I do have quite a few pieces of core flute here, but you'd be surprised how dirty and tattered they do seem to get because I'm doing like a heavy lot of books on that core flute. So I always use these disinfectant wipes to help me clean them. But after a while, I do need to replace the core flute. I need to do a stock inventory. And whenever I do, I'm like using paper and I don't have a board. So I bought myself a specific board here for when I'm doing inventory tick-offs. And guess what? I bought myself a lolly jar. 
Sometimes when I come into the shed, I'm here for a long time. And what happens is I get hungry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm making videos, my mouth starts going dry and I need to just have like a sugar hit or a snake or something. I'm so, Often I'm in here thinking, I wish I had a snake. I wish I had a snake or I wish I had a mint. And then every now and then I'm like, I wish I had a protein ball. I'm absolutely starving. So that's what I've bought. Okay, my snakes are gonna live up here. As you can see, when you run out of stock supplies, things become unproductive and you end up with a messy working space. And that's exactly what had happened to me. No bin liners, I'd ran out of supplies. So I've got all these books here that I wasn't able to put away because I wasn't able to finish the process. And there was just a whole heap of other stuff that I really needed stocking up on. The worst thing that can happen is that you need to keep going out for stock supplies every couple of days. You wanna be able to have enough stock supplies here that it's gonna last you a month or two months or even three months. So. Thanks for coming along for the ride for me today. If you'd like to watch another video about the day in the life of running an eBay store, I'll put another link to a video here. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for me guys and see you in the next video.